Well, happy Valentine's Day to you all. What could be more romantic than an evening with Jay Gordon? My name is Kevin Penders. I get the privilege <laughs> of bringing you the Foxborough High School basketball, men's basketball game. Todd Kayser coming in over the sound system, which I believe is broadcast straight into you. So we'll go to, to the rules and to regulations of the Hockamock League and the MIAA. Please be reminded that we expect fans to be loud and proud. However, the MIAA, Hockamock League, Canton, and Foxborough expect you to cheer positively. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all those playing, officiating, and everyone in attendance. This includes Ooh, this little, includes little cheering back for there. your team, right. not against the opposing team. The MIA does not allow any players, coaches, or referees' names or players' numbers to be called out during the event. Inappropriate or unsportsmanlike comments or conduct will result in your removal from this competition. Do your part to make all athletic contests a positive and enjoyable experience. Good sportsmanship is the number one priority of all our schools. Now for today's starting lineup for Canton High School. Number three, Zaza Francoeur. Number 11, Jeremiah Predden. Number 13, Jamal McConnell. Number 14, Caden Merlani. Merlini. Number 35, Kareem Porter. Canton High School is coached by Eric McKinney. And now, for your Foxborough Warriors, number two, Captain Sam Gullin. Number five, Captain Ryan LeClaire. Number 11, Ryan Cotter. Number 20, Captain Huck Finn. And number 24, Captain Alex Hendricks. Foxborough High School is coached by John Gibbs. And with that rousing entrance, I'm fired up. We're going to hold now again for the national anthem. And away we go. Welcome, listeners and viewers, to another exciting night of Foxborough High School men's basketball as the Warriors get ready to take on the Canton Bulldogs in a Davenport dynamic clash. Uh, be interesting to see what happens here tonight, Jay, as Foxborough having probably its most exciting game of the season since we ended up on the right side of it. Mm -hmm. and going double overtime in Canton earlier this year to take a win 75-73. Yeah. Really at the buzzer of the second overtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I mean, you got to believe Canton's going to have revenge on their minds. And uh, 
it's going to be tough to top that epic game. That was that was quite a game. I have no interest in topping that epic no. game. I'm well, just well. happy if we can get in and out of here and be on our <laughs> way. Canton coming into the game at eight and six in the Davenport, ten and seven overall. Foxborough coming in at six and eight in the Hockamock, ten and eight overall. Uh, this will be a good battle for both teams ranked in the teens in Division II power rankings. Yeah, a big swing game for uh, for whoever could come away with the win here tonight. So as they announced in the starting fives, uh, Francoeur, Predin, McConnell, Merliani, and Porter for Canton. Foxborough answering with its starting five of Penders, Finn, Cotter, Golub, and LeClaire. And we're off. Tip is up and away. Fox no Burrow touching ball. there. That should be Foxborough ball there and is. Foxborough going on your TV screen from your left to your right in their home whites. Canton going from the right to the left in their road greens. LeClaire looking for possession. He's got Golub up top. Trying to slide low to Penders. Not there. Underneath to Huck Finn. That ball will stay as he is blocked by Kareem Porter on his drive to the basket. The right idea, though, with 35 on Huck, he's going to have the speed advantage. Challenge, exactly. That ball high out to Penders. Francoeur on him. Golub. We have a violation on White. Turnover. Foxborough. Canton now will possess. What, they say he was in the paint? For I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, he made the vi he said violation as if he was on the baseline, but there's, there's no violation there. He was just out of bounds. Merliani, senior, looks to get some get distance and move. He pulls back out. He's got McConnell, who torched Foxborough in Canton yeah. earlier this year. Penders with the rebound and back down the floor he comes. To Cotter, to LeClaire. He looked to swing around, not there. They do a good job of sliding off that screen. Golub puts it on the floor and drives. Pulls back out. That one drips off the back. Merliani with the rebound. Up they come. Both teams, veteran squads, Merliani and the Canton Bulldogs featuring eight seniors on their roster. That one gets away from Merliani on his break. Pulls back out and resets. To Preden. Preden, not there. Blocked by Golub. Golub looking to charge, not there. He pulls back out to Penders. Penders pulls up. Hard off the back. Nobody wants to find the basket. Yeah, defensive struggle so far. Preden to Mirliani. Mirliani swings it to front court. Caught her on him. Up top to Porter. To Mirliani. Mirliani, a very dangerous three point threat. Porter going to work on Andrew Finn, and he finds the bucket for two. Yeah, off balance shot. That, that shot had radar. I don't know how it got in there. He Andrew Finn kicks it back out to LeClaire. I thought that was going to be a baseline three at that one. They look to cut around. Oh, you got to switch. Got to take him to the hoop. They got the switch. In comes Penders. That's a foul. Not called. Got Hammett. Kareem Porter playing his life, game of his life so far. Yeah. And on the other end, a quick foul called on Andrew Finn. His first. He can't believe it. Yeah. It's always the case. <laughs> He's, he hasn't followed anybody yet. Oh, just when, you know, you get. Well, you get hammered on the other end. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And to the line, shooting his first free throws will be Jamal McConnell. First one is up and out. But then, again, the right idea. Once once we get that switch and, and uh, Alex has that matchup, it's got to be go to the basket every time. Well, it's got, but it, the contact has to come with it. Yep, yep. If they're not going to call it, it's it's going to be a long and fruitless night, frustrating night. McConnell with his second. We got a lane violation going here. That's going in, and that is waved off. And Canton is out to a three nothing lead. Golub swings to Leclaire up top. Leclaire looking. He's got Golub to Penders. Penders to Cotter. Cotter on the feed. Oh, they did a great job switching to pick up Penders on the cut. LeClaire back up top to Golub. Golub on, Sammy. pulls back, fires away, hard off the back. Yeah. That was Porter a with the rebound. That was a settle. Merliani with possession, the senior who had several timely threes in that head-to-head -head matchup. And, and one opportunity there as Penders gets body 
and McConnell comes around him. Penders his first, Foxborough second. It's a good, good first step by 11 there, and you know, nine times out of ten, Alex makes that block no. clean. This just wasn't the case that time. Yeah, apologies, I, I credited that to McConnell. It was for Preden, and he hits the second, he hits the end one opportunity as well. Leclerc looks to drive. There you go. He does around the top and out. Foxborough does not. There's a lid on that net. Yeah, we've had three solid looks. McConnell with possession, LeClaire on him. McConnell looks to drive, comes around. They're gonna call a body foul on LeClaire. His first. We're gonna collect him on the defensive end tonight, Jay. Well, we just gotta keep being aggressive on the offensive end and hope the refs come around. Don't settle for the threes, unless it's in rhythm. Merliani to inbound, fresh 35 on the clock for Canton with a six nothing lead so far early in this game. Francoeur to Merliani, thinking about it. He pulls back out to Preddy, to McConnell. McConnell thinking about it, he's looking to come around LeClaire. And drains it for two. Foxborough struggling to find a rhythm. Canton may be borrowing some of Foxborough's. Andrew Finn on the drive, kicks to Cotter. That's gonna come off the front iron, not there. Merliani with the rebound. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to score. Yeah. Front court with time, thinking about it, pulls back out, hesitates, and buries it for three. Oh boy. Certainly not the uh, start that John Gibbs was looking for for his Foxborough Warriors as they come out four minutes in and are find themselves in an 11-0 hole. Still looking for their first bucket four minutes into play. Here we're going to see on the replay as Frank Gore pulls out. Uh, Merliani with a cross court pass down low, hesitates. Andrew Finn lets him, you know, gives him, tempts him to give him that shot. Yeah. He resets and drains it. Well, I mean, very slow as a team getting back in transition defense there from what I saw. And then Huck's got to come out and contest that shot. And it, and just trust the help behind you. You can't you can't let anybody take a shot that op that would open. So far, here we're going to see Andrew Finn and Kareem Porter going at it. It's going to be a that's that, that's going to be a physical yeah. matchup. And there's he creates the separation. <laughs> you, you expect him to take that baseline jumper. Yeah. So Foxborough trying to get back to work now, see if they can get into a little groove here before this thing becomes a problem. 11-0 so far to start the quarter. I think for the most part, the, the looks have been good on offense. They're just not falling yet. LeClaire with possession, looking. He's got Penders, Francoeur on him. Back to LeClaire. They slide around. He's got the mismatch that he wants. Penders looking, 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 blocked by McConnell. It's becoming a theme, Jay. Mm. Oh, nice feed to Porter underneath. Rattle and hum continues for the Canton Bulldogs. On the bid Good for luck. the steal, Penders it slides won. underneath to Andrew Finn. And finally, Foxborough is on the board. Great job. Great job attacking the attacking the rim and nice backdoor cut by Huck. Foul on Kareem Porter, his first, Canton's first. Checking in is Gordon. Checking out is Cotter. Waiting for Andrew Finn at the line is Ryan Kelly to make his first appearance. That one's away and in. Andrew Finn making it an and one opportunity. Three points. Ten point game. Here we go. Kelly and Gordon in. Kelly on Porter. Well, they're probably going to try to post up 35. Merliani gets around. Over to Prayden. Down to McConnell. McConnell spins. Gets the move. And LeClaire with the hand check pokes it out of bounds. That'll be Canton ball. 20 on the clock. Here they come. Up to Prayden. Braden looks to come inside on, <laughs> looks to come inside on Porter. And quickly, Ryan Kelly is called for the foul. 
Yeah, gotta, gotta get him out of that spot before he gets the ball. Well, they're gonna give him the dipsy do. Up he goes to Preden, to Mariani. Mariani slides. Comes back around to McConnell. LeClaire on him. Now to Preden. Preden drive. Pulls back out. He's got Francoeur. Gordon on him. Francoeur going to work. Slides underneath to McConnell on the slip and slide. Easy two. LeClaire to Kelly. Pulls quickly back out. Underneath to Penders. Penders. He got hit. Still looking for his first points. Not there. He gets got hit. hit again. Yeah, he got hit in the arm. Still no call. McConnell with possession. Creighton comes through, kicks all the way out to Frank Corr for his second three of the game. They are just clinically picking them apart right now. Yep. LeClaire to Gollard. Foxborough trying to find any way to get on the board. That They get a lucky hand there as Frank Corr pushes it out of bounds on an errant pass. Checking out is Kareem Porter, who has done a good amount of damage so far here in the first. Checking in, senior captain Julius Hicks. Inbound ball to Carter, uh, to Kelly, excuse me. Not there, no rebound. Frank Corr with the rebound to McConnell. They continue to attack. Braden looking to come up. Pulls back out. Now he's looking for the drop trailer. He's got Merliani. Merliani thinking about pulling up. Not there. Prayden back to the ball. Merliani coming around. Slides out wide to Hicks. Penders with the rebound. If that went out of bounds, I was going to lose my mind. Golub driving. Up strong. Got a boy, And up Sam. strong and in. No call. Yep. I like how he's playing through the contact, though. That McConnell Instead of trying to get a call. Canton continues oh. to attack. They slide, pull out. Merliani looks to come around. He's got Frank Corr on the side. Now to Merliani for three. That's an air ball. Oh. And that will be a turnover for Foxborough. Good and with that, checking out will be McConnell. And checking in will be C2. Here we're going to see the basket as Golub drives the lane. Yeah. Checking out will be LeClaire. Checking in will be Cotter. Foxborough with Penders, Cotter, Golub, Gordon, and Kelly. Sets the screen, he full rolls. It's not there. He needs help. He's got Kelly. Kelly looking for help of his own. He's got Gordon. Gordon, oh, looking to slip, not there. Merliani with the quick hands, strips it away. Gordon steals it right back and gives it away again. Merliani now with possession. Nobody wants the ball. Hicks slides to C2 to Hicks. They pull that back out. No travel called there. Merliani with possession. Kelly on him. He pulls back. Hard off the back. Right. Golub with possession. 28 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Golub will drive. It's a foul. It's a and foul. they're going to call a travel. Golub trying to incent the contact, not there. It's, it's, it's a foul one, one way or the other. It's not a travel. Contact caused that travel. If you want to say it's Sam's contract, that's fine. Then you call the foul on Sam. Agreed. Merliani looking to get the last shot here in the quarter as Canton has really just laid the lumber to the Foxborough Warriors so far here in the first. Francoeur pulls back. Hard off the front. Penders with a rebound, and that's right. going to end the quarter. Mercifully, that will end the quarter as Foxborough gives up 18 in the first and manages to only find five of its own. Yeah, that was gross. So No place to go but up, though. I don't think that was the playbook for the first quarter of this game. Foxborough digging itself a 13-point hole to climb out of. Ugh. And here we'll get to see the... State champion Foxborough cheer team. Impressive work by the Warriors. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely the bright spot of the first quarter. No doubt. 
no doubt. So here we are on Valentine's Day. I would say that uh, the Warriors have given enough of uh, candy and roses to the Canton Bulldogs, and now it's time to go to work. And the, war the Bulldogs will come out with Hicks, Porter, C2, Francoeur, and Merliani. Foxborough will answer with Cotter, Gordon, Kelly, Golub, and Penders. Right. Going to dig in. The way to come back here is to do it on defense. Merliani with possession. He swings wide to Francoeur. Had two threes early in the first. Hicks away. Right. Penders with the rebound. That's four bricks in a row. Keep, keep those coming. Penders to Carter. To Kelly. Golub manages to maintain possession. He looks to pull up. That one gets away, though. Right. Francoeur comes away with it. Merliani looking for an open man. He's got Francoeur. Francoeur's going to step. Oh, he traveled. Merliani, Golub on him. Here comes the screen, the slip, and away. Foxborough gets by with one there. Yeah, we're going to turn and these into points, though. And just like that, coach for Canton sees it and says, uh-uh, let's get some guys in here. McConnell is back in and checking in for Canton is Lucas Massey. Checking in for Foxborough is Ian Foley. Cotter. With possession, looking to come around. Oh, my goodness, miscommunication. Pender yeah. saves it. To Foley. To Kelly underneath. On Kareem Porter there for we two. Go. Blow the whistle. Whistle cannot be found on that end of the court. I think the little ball's missing inside the whistle. It's not making any noise. Messi to Hicks. To McConnell, who was hot to start. Ball is rattling around. Oh, and Hicks comes away with it for two. Foxborough trying to find a rhythm right now, trading buckets. Cotter with possession to Penders. Penders will slide through. He's up and in. Foxborough still continuing to attack the rim. Yep, just got to keep doing it. C2 with possession, Gordon on him. He gets around Gordon, goes straight to the basket, and drills that in yeah. for two. Very strong take. Yeah, that was a power move there. Carter, he's got space, he'll drive, he'll lace there it up for go. two. Good job yeah. using the contact for Ryan Carter. He finds it home. McConnell. Oh. They slide. Uh, they had 35 Porter. there on that slip. C2 all the way around, Penders Good. with the rebound Push it. on the move. He pushes and checks Get it. in there for we two. Go. That will be on, that basket counts. That will be on number 13, Jamal. It's a nice fee finish. Good job, Alex. Yeah. Jamal McConnell, his first. So two things we've found out. The lid is off the, the rim, and, and this guy's whistle works. And both, both are very useful to know yeah, as yeah. we sit here in the second quarter. Foxborough chipping away. It's a nine-point lead for Canton now. That's going to be short and away. C2 with possession. Oh, he puts that ball out there. He does, but he pulls it back on a string quickly, too. McConnell to Porter to C2 to Hicks. They're doing a good job attacking on the sides to Prayden. Back to Hicks. Up top to McConnell. Not there. Porter up and over everybody. And he kicks it out to McConnell. Interesting, given how open he was. To Hicks, across to C2. Porter working away on Ryan Kelly. That's not going to be a matchup he's going to win. No, once, once 35 gets on the block, it's, it's a tough, tough defense. Foxborough's fifth foul. That's the second for Kelly. You, get, you almost got to front him a little bit. Ball is in to Prayden, to McConnell. McConnell comes around. Porter on him to Preden. And Preden rolls it around and in. LeClaire is checked back in, pushes the tempo. 
Oh, give it off. Oh, give it to him. Not there. Underneath to Penders. Now McConnell on him. Penders comes and back one. around and up and in and out, and there's no foul anywhere. How can there be no foul? Kicks it back out. Kelly. Yes. For three. One way or another, we got three there. McConnell pushing tempo to Pridden. Moving screen. McConnell comes back around on the other side. He's got possession. Oh. To Hicks. To C2. Oh, good job, Cots. Back to Hicks. To Kareem Porter underneath. Yeah, double down. Good. Yep. Hicks for three. That's around and out. Right. Penders with a rebound. Here they come. To Kelly. Come on, Kel. Yes! Here we go. Welcome back, boys. Welcome back. It's a five-point game. Here we go. McConnell, Porter up high on the screen. Let's get a turnover now. Come slide. On. Kicks all the way out to Hicks. That's around and out. Kelly with a rebound. He's feeling it. He's got Foley over to LeClaire. Over to Carter, back to LeClaire. LeClaire from way downtown. Not there. Foley oh, with possession Foley. on the steal. Oh, and stolen away by Predden. McConnell floats that one up and stops the tie. Penders for three yard off the Get back. It. Oh! The back, the front, and not there to be had. And that's going to be a timeout for the Canton Bulldogs. They're first here in the second quarter. Three minutes to go. Foxborough trying to scrap its way back in. Canton 26, the Warriors 19. Now it feels. Here we're going to see on the replay, Jay, uh, Ryan Kelly, who had been given two quick fouls, now answering with two quick threes. That's what he's here to do. He's a sharpshooter. Penders kicks. Way Kelly out. way out. Nothing but net. Now it feels like a contest. I mean, I couldn't believe the game we sat through, you and I, in Canton. That thing was just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. They swapped baskets. That was a good old fashioned, like, Nesson classic. Right. I, I, you know, everybody should go home and watch that game again and again and again because it was just amazing to watch. Yeah. I don't want to see that game again. No, and we got a little bit of it at the tail end of the second quarter there, uh, well, before the timeout. Uh, but we spotted them, what, 13 points before Correct. that? Correct. Correct. So as you always say, you win the quarter, you win the quarter, you win the quarter. They had a big, they got to win three quarters. They lost the first one big. Yeah, yeah. And we're looking at seven now. It, you get this thing under five before, you know, or, or better before the half. Heather Segaris, yep. roving correspondent, taking shots. McConnell, Merliani, Francoeur, Porter, and Predden in. Cotter, Kelly, Penders, Foley, and LeClaire for the Warriors. McConnell slides and rolls it around and in. He's good. He is having his way. Well, he scored 24 against yeah. us no, but in just, their place. But just a lot of confidence. Full arsenal of moves inside the paint once he gets that Kelly drive going. Kelly to Foley to LeClaire. Come on, Kelly. To Kelly. That's Harden away. McConnell with possession. Here they come. Merliani looking to move. The danger here, Jay, is obviously the, the Warriors have had some luck getting back into it with the three-point shot. The danger is they fall in love with it. Right. Front core up top. Foley giving chase. Good job possessing. It's a travel. It is a travel, and it will be called one. It's Praden making the contact on Penders, spinning off it, taking the extra step, and incenting the travel. LeClaire, hands to Kelly, to Cotter, back to Kelly, to Cotter. They've got the mismatch down low. They wave it off. LeClaire, Porter on him. Just loses possession. Porter comes away with the steal. Protect the basketball. Protect the basketball. Nice up and under by Caden Merliani as he just splits the defenders and finds a home. Penders will drive on Frank Corr. I, I don't know what it's going to take to get a foul yeah, today. 
Gonna keep playing through it, I guess. I, I, they're really making them earn them. Penders finds the bucket. Nine points. Merliani pulls back out, not there. Porter, Kelly on him. McConnell. Up top to Preden. Uh, Kelly's doing a better Preden job. wants to go him. to work on Penders. He pulls back out. McConnell again, the hot hand. With possession now. Merliani thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Five seconds. Five seconds. Frank Core pulls up. Not there. Penders with the rebound. Boy, are they smashing it around underneath there. And that'll stay Foxborough ball as Frank Core gets a piece of it. I'm surprised Alex didn't go stronger to the basket there with the extra dribble. I, I thought he was going to put it put it up and go. Yeah, I, I think the way three was positioned, he was concerned about maybe the a charge. charge. Yeah. Checking yeah. in for Canton is Julius Hicks. Checking out is Kareem Porter. Foxborough back to work with its starting five of Finn, Penders, Golub, and oh, there it was. He's got to get in now. Yeah. And Cotter. Take him, right. That's it. Take him. That's it. Oh, my goodness. No love there at all. As Predden and Hicks collapse on Penders, that rolls around and out. Canton with possession in 17 seconds and a clean last look. Merliani, Golub on him. As the arm bar, not called, Hicks pulls up and hits for, shoots for three, misses. Golub on the move. He needs a look. Oh. He finds a home. Well done. Still no whistle there, but that will count. Well done. Foxborough finding a way to claw back in this thing. They put up, it is 30 to 23. Really good awareness here, I'm knowing what the clock had, you know, what he had left see, on the yep, clock. He does a great job of driving through. He's around, Predden, up and over the glass nice on Merliani. Finish. Good finish and bank there. But boy, oh boy, have they given themselves a lot of work to do as Foxborough claws its way back in from a grim 18 to 5 start to pull it to within 30 to 23. Lots of work left to do. Yeah, well, I mean, if we're, if we're staying positive, they basically cut that lead in half. So they're, they're trending in the right direction. So if that's, so if they always have a bad quarter, it yeah. must, it, then by proxy, that had to have been the first quarter. Yeah, let's get it out of the so way. That's now done and on the work, on they go. Yeah. Cleanest bins and AJ Julie taking the court here tonight as uh, the Foxborough youth gets a little halftime fun. We got a few minutes, uh, on the clock to rest and relax. So uh, Jay, we're gonna, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right. All right. Stick with us folks. Second half action coming up. Welcome back to second half action as the Foxborough Warriors look to continue to climb out of an early hole. Here coming out of the halftime, 30-27, the Canton Bulldogs on top of the Foxborough Warriors. Uh, Jay, much better second quarter mm -hmm. than certainly we saw in the first quarter, couldn't do much it would have to be. Yeah, um, yeah, and you know, you look at 30, that it's not a typical Foxborough half to give up 30 points. Correct. You know, they're usually much better uh, keeping the score It's usually down. reversed. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, that's Foxborough, you know, Canton itself is only averaging 53 points a game. Mm -hmm. So for them to have 30 in the first half is a, a, a show of wills. Yeah. And uh, speaking of which, Foxborough really uh, unable to contain uh, Jamal McConnell in the first half. That's going to be the challenge they're going to have to face in the second half here as he's got an early nine. Oh, got a scoring update coming in. The Foxborough Lady Warriors at 34. Canton at the half, 12. So apparently it's happening on both both sides, just <laughs> in, the, uh, in, in the wrong direction for us right now. So let's see if we can write that ship up and make it a 2-0. Oh. We're underway. Cotter to LeClaire. McConnell on him. To Gollum. Slips underneath to Penders. He's gobbled up, but yeah. finds a way. I don't get it. You don't get what? I, the, the, I mean, he got, uh, he got the knocked. Body, the lack got, of the call. He got uh, knocked off his feet. Well, I couldn't see it, in truth. Surprising I, call of travel. I could, just, I could just see the Twin Towers collapse. I couldn't yeah. see anything happening underneath. That one gets away. 
Penders knocks it out for good measure, I guess. And, it, was, uh, it was like lower body contact, but it clearly knocked him off his, off his path. Foxborough starting the, the half with its uh, starting five of Golub, LeClaire, Cotter, Finn, Penders, and Canton answering with McConnell, Merliani, who shoots that one downtown for three. Cotter with the rebound. Porter, Predden, Francoeur. I think I got everybody there. Golub swings around to Finn. Underneath, back to Golub. Nice look by him. Oh, nice spin. Oh, but I'm unlucky. Hard off the back. Golub not able to convert that as he does have a beautiful spin to fake out Merliani under the basket. Merliani now with possession. He looks to get around Golub and have his own little hop, skip, and jump. He kicks it up top to Francoeur. Back to Merliani. Back to Francoeur. Underneath to Merliani on the baseline for three. Not there, Penders with the rebound. Quick ball to LeClaire. Behind the back, shuttle pass to Cotter, to Finn, to Penders, back to Finn. Foxborough moves to Gall. They want Penders on Merliani. Not there, Finn. Carter slides across to Gallup, 15 on the clock. Plenty of time. Gallup will drive, kick to LeClaire, not there. McConnell gets a hand on it, strips it away. Turnover, Foxborough. McConnell on the move. Ball gets away from him. Mm, Somehow he maintains possession. Well, LeClaire tipped it back to him. Predden looking to come to work on Penders. They kick that back out. Merliani to McConnell. Strip there. Oh, there LeClaire you go. LeClaire continues up forward with a steal. Not there. Oh, my goodness. We cannot score the, reef, the layup. Merliani on the fly. They kick it back out. Frank Cor looks to get a piece. He's got a second look. That's hard off the back. Carter unable to go. Come go, away go, with go. Your numbers. There and we go. finally, a foul is called. And that will be on Predden. His first. Canton's first of the half. Predden will check out, and Hicks will check in. Here we're going to see the look. Penders between Kareem, Porter, and Francoeur finding his way up through the trees for two. LeClaire on the move. He drives. Kicks Stick to that. Finn. Stick that, huh? Finn. Yes, sir. See if they keep laying off him now. It's a two point game. Five minutes to go here in the third. Foxborough trailing by two, 30 to 28. Merliani with possession. He's got Hicks to McConnell. He had the hot hand in the first half. To Hicks underneath. Skip pass to Frank Corr. Frank Corr comes. Not there. Stolen by Golub. Stolen by Merliani. Get out. And a pass to Frank Corr. <laughs> to Porter. Finally, Frank Corr scores on that one. Woof. Ball is away, ball is away. Nice, nice roll. Yeah, that's an assist. <laughs> a lucky bounce. <laughs> Falls to Cotter on the weak side, and Porter picks up his second foul and the team's second of the half. Cotter on the weak side finding a surprise gift. He gets fouled by Porter. He'll go to the line to shoot two. First one is away, Attaboy. and good. We're definitely. <laughs> here we're going to see the gift on the replay here. There you go. Ball gets away from LeClaire through the legs. Porter <laughs> Cotter's <laughs> like, I guess I have it. Second one is away. That one's away and out. Ball touch. There and we they're go. They're going to call that out. That, Off Canton Foxborough that, ball. That was a gift. Well, that was a gift. It is Valentine's Day. Hearts and roses. Hearts and roses. And now we're in. Ball is in. Ball is in. Finn to Cotter. To LeClaire. To Gawler. Try to slip on LeClaire. Not there. Another so one, Huck. Come on. LeClaire pushes. To two for two. For three. Gotta, it's a three point game again. Got to cover him now. Foxborough needing the stop here. Merliani looking to get around Gawler. He does. Hard off the bat, not there. Porter with the rebound. Three seconds. Nope, whistle underneath. That foul will be on Sam Golub. 
Yes, his first, Foxborough's first of the half. Porter will go to the line to shoot two. He's just immovable. He's a big immovable force underneath there when he's on the block. Yeah, he's, uh, he threw the anchor down there. Porter with his first. The senior finds that one. Strike. Here we're going to see on the replay. The kick from LeClaire, the baseline three. That's his second of the night for Andrew Finn. Porter. Hits that one. That, and that shot's going to continue to be there because 35 isn't going to come out. He's, he's sagging down for help. Right. Canton reclaims the lead. It's a two-point game. Cotter. Underneath to Golub. Pulls around, not there. Sam trying to stop Francoeur on the, on the transition. He does. Marliani, however, is there. Ready to go. Hicks coming around. Not there. Penders rattles around and loose underneath with Finn and Penders. The attack is on. Cotter with on. time. No. Drives. And one. There you go, Cotts. And that'll be a body foul on Zaza Francoeur, his first. We know Cotts is going to. to the line. We know he's going to play through the contact. Coach talking that over with the referee, saying he was just straight, his arms were straight up. It's true, but his body was on his body. Cotter finds a home. Get in there. Crowd is getting loud. Not a big crowd tonight for the Canton Bulldogs, but they are getting a little rowdy. Here we go. Second one is away and home. All Nicely right. done by Ryan Cotter. We've erased the demons of the first quarter. And we are all even here with 3.20 to go. 34-34. Out goes Carter, in comes Gordon. Foxborough looking to continue to build on the momentum of the last two quarters. Oh, there's a slip to Francoeur underneath. Not there, blocked by Gordon. They come around, Hicks from way outside, hard off the front. Go. Rebound, right. stripped away. Maintain possession by Merliani. They're going to call that a foul on the floor. Yeah. Looked like Gordon got hit. That's going to be on LeClaire. It did look like Gordon got hit. He got he had the rebound and he got knocked off the ball. I, I didn't have a clear view on it, but well, Merliani will inbound. Hicks will go to the bench. In for Hicks. McConnell was back in. Not somebody they can afford to have on the floor off the floor too long. Praden kicks to Frank Corr. Frank Corr looks to come, not there. Out to Merliani. Merliani separates. Great defense. Hard off the back. Denied by Le LeClaire, but the rebound to Penders. Come on. Penders for three. Not there. Quick three. McConnell now coming the other way. They double. Doing a really good Slide job on the Merliani. pick and roll. Pridden looking to get around Penders, not there. Frank Corr, Gordon on him. Pridden pulls back out, yeah. hits it for three. He's been hesitant. Yeah, I mean, he, he hit the shot, but that was a good defensive effort too on that, on that possession. LeClaire looking for help, he's got Andrew Finn. Penders. All right. That's going to be a body foul underneath. That'll be on Caden Merliani. Should be on Caden Merliani. Caden Merliani. Of all the contacts we've first. seen, that was probably the least likely to be called a foul. But we'll take it. Andrew Finn will check out. Ryan Kelly checking in. Hot hand in the second quarter. Stick Gullet that, Sammy. Time. Come on. And All right. the foul will be on Kareem Porter, his third. That's why he doesn't go out there and defend those threes. Canton's fifth. As Golub draws the foul, they'll be shooting three. 
with a minute 44 left to go here in the third. Golub finds the first. Finds the second. Butter. And that looks pretty. Nice. Let's make it a tie game. Jeez, Jay, I said I didn't want to do a double overtime game. Well, I mean, we had to get to the to this point anyway if we were going to win. I know. C2 with possession. He slides to Porter up top. McConnell manages to hold on. Kelly and LeClaire collapse on him. Preden. Around to Frank Corr, who drives. Oh. Oh. There and you go. Gordon takes one straight to the head. And they call. A Please. travel. Please. They called that a travel? They did. They called it a travel. If I, took, if I have to go to the dentist tomorrow and that's only a travel, yeah, I'm not going to have well, a problem. You can, you can explain to the, uh, we'll get the clip. Is you, there can a take it, you can take it for the um, Is there a form copay. I can fill out? You can take it for the copay. <laughs> As Nolan Gordon takes a full elbow to the face for, to incent the travel call. LeClaire, Penders, and Golub going to work there. Golub coming away empty handed. Canton on the move. McConnell to Hicks. Baseline, hard out. LeClaire with the rebound. Keep pushing, keep pushing. LeClaire around the screen to Penders. He's got the mismatch, kicks it back out to LeClaire. They cut. LeClaire hard off the glass, too hard, and back out hard. Don't reach. Zaza Francoeur with the rebound. LeClaire on him. He slides to C2. C2 looks to drive. Not there. He's swallowed by Gollum. To Hicks. Kelly on him. To Francoeur again. Ball Come and is get away. It. And the ref calls it. I tried. A I tried. Canton ball. 23 seconds left on the clock. Merliani checking back in. C2 will check out. Here we go. 16 seconds on the shot clock for Canton. McConnell. Oh, oh ball gets away. LeClaire quickly puts it home for two. There we go. Foxborough taking its first lead of the game. McConnell saying it's fine, it's fine, we're fine, we got time, don't worry about it, take your time. LeClaire up top on him, eight seconds left to go. He looks to drive, kicks to Hicks. Hicks is by Kelly, ball is no. out of bounds. They're calling that out of bounds off of Canton. Yeah, that, was, that went off Gordon. Well, I don't care, yeah. that's, no. Well, I think he pointed. He, di he directed Canton, yeah. he directed to Foxborough, but he gave it to Canton. Uh, he's a tricky so one. So that's, uh, yeah. okay. Two and a half seconds left here, 2.2. Watch, watch out for the lob. There it comes. Don't foul. Not there. Frank Gore with a desperation shot. Gordon doing a good job of getting up tall and straight and denying the ball. Here we're gonna see, yeah. if you just, just so we're clear for when you need it for later, right? Watch Nolan Gordon right here. Yeah, this boom. A, that's a travel. Boom. boom. And boom, yep. That is. Yeah, I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need that film, guys. So, uh, <laughs> just to explain it to the dentist. I can take this to the proper authorities. Foxborough, coming out in this quarter and putting up 16 points, Jay, to take the lead and holding Canton to seven. Yeah, is uh, basically what what happened to us in the first quarter. So. Here we are with a, a big fourth quarter ahead of us in a tight game. That's right. Once who, again. Who would have thunk it? Yes. Anybody who's been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, anybody who's watched these two teams play before, I think. Anybody who's watched these two teams play before. So. No dominant hand so far. This fourth quarter really will be a defining opportunity. C2, Merliani, Frank Kaur, Praden, and Hicks on the floor for Canton. Gordon Golub 
Kelly, Carter, and Penders on the floor for Foxborough. Here we go, eight to play. Woof. It has been worth the money so far. Merliani with possession, running point. He's got Praden up top. He Praden drives, spins. That's a walk. Penders blocks. Quick release to Golub. Golub on the move. He tries to answer on the other side, and yeah. a foul is called. So he got he got the call there, but I feel like his last two drives, he's had an opportunity to kick that out and do an open three. He's, they're really collapsing on him. Foul is on Ashton C2, his first, team's sixth. Definitely, um, they're definitely bringing three guys mm -hmm. into the box on him there. Golub misses the first on the drive. As he does that hesitation, they all have time to collapse. Right. And um, again, you get the call, you get six team fouls, we're on our way to shooting. And he finishes with that one. Balanced attack so far for Foxborough tonight as they climb out of an early hole. Oh, Kotz oh. almost had that. Kotz, it's a quick bid. Hicks on the wing, not there. Penders with the rebound. Foxborough looking to possess and add here in the fourth. Golub looking to drive, he kicks. Gordon somehow comes away with it. And there's gonna be a foul on the floor. Yeah, so Sam tried to do what we were talking about and, that one, and Nolan cut to the basket. That one will be on, I believe, 14, Merliani. His second, team's seventh. So good news for Foxborough there. Hicks checks out, the C2 checks out. Porter is back in. Uh, Francoeur, McC McConnell, Preden and Merliani. Foxborough answers with Penders, Kelly, Gordon, LeClaire is back on the floor, and Gollum. Away and good. So it looks like we're gonna have 35 on Ryan Kelly, and we saw what happened with Huck hitting those threes, so he's gonna have the opportunity, I think. That will be uh, all we could ask for. Gordon sinks them both. He hits those free throws against Canton, we know that. And we do know that. <laughs> <laughs> However he has to, he does like to do that. That's right. Frank Gore looking to get around. Gordon does not. Ball gets away. Frank Gore picks it back up. Merliani way outside. He comes to work on Golub. Kicks out to Frank Gore. Gordon's still working on him. McConnell drives. Lays it up mm. and in for two. Very soft left-hand yeah. move by McConnell. First man to double digits, Jamal McConnell. LeClaire, ball gets away, he maintains possession. Penders to Kelly, to LeClaire. They got the mismatch underneath that they want. Oh no, ball is loose. Jump ball, Fox, it should be Foxborough a jump ball. ball. Foxborough ball. It should, well he hasn't indicated yet. White yeah, ball, he, there yeah. we go, all right. He never, never made the indication. It was, uh, I was like somehow we end up with a Somehow we're going to end up with a foul <laughs> on that thing. I saw. I thought I saw him put his, put his fingers up, but he has, did, he has yeah, really small thumbs. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> you're you're incenting me to say things I don't want to say right now. <laughs> Leclerc to inbound the ball. I bring out the best in everyone. Foxborough up by three. Penders on possession to Golub. Golub moving around to Leclerc to Gordon. To Kelly. Come on, Kel. Yeah, he did. He oh. did. On the travel, turnover, Foxborough. Missed opportunity there. C2 back in. Merliani with possession. Here comes Kent. Praden kicks, mm. kicks back to Merliani for distance and three. He's been quiet so far. Yeah, yeah. But we got. A tie game. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. For three, hard off the front. Not there. Porter with the rebound. Quick out to Merliani. Yeah, that one was. Foxborough going to have to. That was a little down. quick. That was a little quick. McConnell with possession now. Leclerc on him. Over to C2. Porter sets the screen. Slides underneath. Kicks Ooh. around to Preeton. Hard off the front. Not able to possess. Uh, oh, nicely done by, oh my goodness. They're gonna call a travel on Gordon yeah. on the floor as he manages to pull the ball away from Kareem Porter. Here we're gonna see it again. 
That ball is rattled around and out. Porter up and over on Kelly, no call. Go <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He did. Merliani to inbound. 35 seconds on the shot clock. New shot clock. Up top to Braden, to McConnell. McConnell, he gets by. Go get it. Ball is on the floor, no one has it. McConnell comes back out with it. To Merliani from way outside. Not there. Right. And that one. Good box out. Boxed out by Kelly. Penders outside and will inbound the ball now. Foxborough ball. I think he does have that ball on a string. Because it's like a yo-yo. He pulls it right back to his body. We are all tied up. Five to go. 42-42. Oh. Stick Kelly. that. Stick oh, that. Time. Oh, we got to take that. To Penders. Behind Penders. Penders maintains possession. Dribbles. To, to Kelly. Kelly looks to drive. That's oh, my <laughs> goodness. That is all kinds of foul. Porter hurt yeah. on the play. Yeah, he might have. He might have turned his ankle bad there. Let's see here. Oh. Right there. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. That's not, well, now he's holding the other ankle. So that's unfortunate for him. Yeah. Good, strong move by Kelly, though. He recognized that he can take him off the dribble. Yep, and that's four for Porter and eight overall yeah. for the Canton Bulldogs. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, if Coach is going to, oh, he's going to take him out. I was going to say, if he's going to take him, leave him in there, we got to go right at him again. All kinds of substitutions coming in, both sides here, as Kelly getting ready to take his first of two. Here comes the first one. That Rattle boy. and hum. Out goes Gordon. Out goes Porter. In comes Francoeur. In comes Cotter. And that's going to roll around and out. Oh! Koch trying to get a piece of it there. He can't do it. They're holding his shirt. No call. Kelly will check out. We'll take it. In the third quarter in Canton, the Foxborough Lady Warriors 62, the Canton Bulldogs 17. Yeah, I think we're safe to put that one in the win column. Merliani, quick feed to Frank Cor. C2 with a look, not there. That's it. Canton coming away with possession. Good job. They knock it out of bounds. Foxborough ball. Good job by LeClaire to strip that ball on the rebound. Foxborough up one. 4.30 to play. Golub with possession to Cotter. Cotter looking for Golub. He's got him. Slide under the Penders. There you go. And for two. They haven't had a lot of luck trying to run that tonight, no. but there's one when they need it. Merliani to Francoeur. Francoeur oh. driving, wow. round and out. Penders with a rebound. Watch it back. Traffic's still coming. They're gonna still give him the space. He drops to Finn. Hard off the front, not there. Don't follow him, huh? It's a good feed. Yeah. Unable to finish. Well, Alex had to put the brakes on because the charge was coming. That's right, that's was, right. He was, he was setting he up. He saw it. Yep. And coach, Canton's coach will call a timeout here with 3.48 left to go in the fourth. Foxborough clinging to a, a three-point lead. Here we're going to see on the replay. Yeah, oh, really nice the slip speed. pass down to Penders underneath. Yep. Merliani coming to help, not yep. able to get there in time. Yeah, too slow. If, if they're going to front Alex, then that help has to be ready to slide right underneath. And, and as we saw on the next play, yep. and if you're going to slide to front Alex, all right, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna block Alex off with the basket when you get there, then you're gonna have that opportunity for him to kick it to the weak yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, maybe one more dribble from Huck there and he's he's taking it, you know, taking yeah, a layup. Just a little I don't think yeah. he was I don't think he was expecting to be that close. Just a little too hard off his hand as he as he floated that one up there. Forty-eight to go. Foxborough and Canton have made it a game. Canton jumping out to a very early lead. That Foxborough battling back in the next two quarters to erase that. And now in the fourth quarter, it has been mano e mano. Mm -hmm. As they have just traded buckets and gone back to back to back, as we have come to expect in a Canton-Foxborough clash. 
45-42, 3.48 to go. C2 to inbound the ball. McConnell is his intended target. He gives that up and goes to Preden. Now to C2, now to McConnell. Leclerc on him. Leclerc, quick hands, they try to come around, McConnell does. He strips it to Merliani. Merliani looking to come to baseline. Not there. He kicks to C2. Andrew Finn on him. That foul is going to be on the. Well, it's going to be not going to be on the floor. C2 is going to be on the floor. That'll be Andrew Finn's second. The team's third here in the quarter. That's the type of foul you want to commit, though. You make sure that ball has no chance of going in the basket. That's right. Henry Griffin, one of our Foxborough freshmen, working the cameras tonight. C2 Ooh. rattles that one around and in, making it a two-point game. Andrew Finn checks out. Nolan Gordon checks in. Canton decided to go small, so Foxborough's matching that. That yeah. one's a little smoother. Yeah. And it's a one-point game. Leclerc to Penders on the slide to Golub. Golub doubled up, yeah, not again, there. Kick cat if, out. If he's, if he's going to make that move, he's got to make it hard enough that it goes. Oh, nice block. block no. By, oh, no. That was an excellent block by Ryan Leclerc. He is called for contact. Unless his head's orange, that was all ball. And that will be Foxborough's fourth foul of the half. Leclerc's third. I don't know, I think Nolan Gordon might have a statement about what constitutes a head foul that he would like to discuss. McConnell to the line to shoot two. First one is away and home. <laughs> Here's the, uh, yeah, I don't see he, the head. Nolan didn't even touch him. I don't see the head. He was, well, they didn't call it on Nolan, they called it on Ryan. Oh, okay. Here's the second one. Oh, he didn't hit him either. No. We are. We're in complete agreement on that. All right. And we have traded the lead. Cotter on the drive. That's it, He's Cotter. got the space. Yeah, the boy. He's got the up and in. Nicely done, Ryan Cotter for two. Leclerc, McConnell on him, or vice versa. Oh, McConnell gets past Le Leclerc. Up and, oh, oh very nicely done. His takes are very clean. Yeah. Underneath to Penders for two. It was a little sleight of it hand there. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. Now you see it, now you don't. What we want to see is a stop. <laughs> C2 with possession. He's got Merliani thinking about it. McConnell with the hot hand flashes through. They hit C2 on the baseline. Oh my goodness, nobody wants to go home. Except for me. That's a big shot. Canton up two. Penders in the lane. Not there. All right, now two we minutes need to, to go. Here we go. C2 pulls back out. Coming around on Gordon. Up and over. I don't think Carter thought that was coming to him. Yeah. 15 clearly still feeling good about that three. That was a rush shot. Carter drives oh! and rattles it in. Money. Very strong work by Ryan Cotter to rattle that in. As Foxborough ties it back up with a minute 43 to go. Difficult shot. Oh, made, yeah. it, made it look easy. Well, he, it was up and under, and he had to go. He had to go weak side in. Here we're going to see both of Ryan Cotter's last two baskets. Cotter down the lane on the right hand side. Bread baskets it up high off the glass. Rattles and in. That's the signature move. Correct. The high kiss. Correct. That's the one we've come to see and expect this year. But this one, yeah. the I'm going lefty on oh. I, Woof. Nice cross to start it and just strong finish. That was a uh, that was more of a lacrosse move yeah. than it was a basketball move. Very impressive work by the junior guard to keep Foxborough in this thing and all knotted up with a minute 43 to go. 
Yeah, this is this is going to be big. Who who can who can get get that lead to get into get into the free throw game? Right. Well, Foxborough yeah. is in the free throw game, right? Who can get to the line? Yeah. Can they get to the line? Yeah. Can somebody get that three four point swing so the other team has to foul? Penders, Gordon, Leclaire, Cotter, and Golub for Foxborough. C2, Praden, Frank Core, McConnell, and Merliani for Canton. Here we go. 140 to go. All knotted up. 51 apiece. Oh, it's That's a carry. A carry. Broken up and stolen. Penders in possession. Kicks to LeClaire. Take your time. Around to Carter. Take to your Golub. time. Golub wants that. He's going to pull that back out to Carter. Carter. They've got Penders on the slip. Not there. Golub looking to drive on Merliani. He does. Hard off the front, not oh, there. Oh, finish it. There right we go. The rebound and the bucket. Foxborough up by two. One stop, boys. One stop. McConnell. Time in possession. We are at a minute to go. They, they double him up. Merliani all alone. Frank Corr switches to the on the baseline. That's around and out. Prayton high with the rebound. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but it did. Tie game. LeClaire to Cotter. Cotter will drive again. I got the foul. If he hit on the floor, he'll still be shooting. That will be on Jeremiah Praden, his second, Canton's ninth. Cotter to the line, shooting one and one. 39 seconds to go. We are all knotted up here in Foxborough. 53 apiece. Caught it with the first. He has been great to have on the floor oh, here in the fourth quarter. Spock plug. Cots with his second bid coming up here. Here it comes. Second one's away and home. Love it. Foxborough up two. Here we go. And timeout Canton. They're gonna talk that over. We got 35 seconds left on the clock. The shot clock differential is three and a half seconds. Ooh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Just what we thought it would, would happen, right? Here we're gonna see on the replay as Penders, uh, Golub drives, kicks and wedges into the front. Mm -hmm. Penders with position on Preden. Yeah, he manages a, to put that back a good, up and in for two. Good bailout there because, again, you know, the, he's, Al, uh, Sam's getting a lot of attention with those drives. Right. And uh, that was fortunate to get that put back. So we, we know calls are tough to come by. They, you know? they absolutely, they have yeah. been tonight. So, yeah. I mean, Foxborough uh, won away from the bonus. And, and we've, we've hit. Double bonus. We've hit, you know, at least three, maybe, maybe one more of those threes you know, kicking out after those drives. Well, so the other thing we know is Canton is deadly from the arc. Mm -hmm. So whatever Foxborough can do to make a defensive stop here, right. maintain possession, and then get into the foul game. Yeah. They'll put them on the line repeatedly is where they need to be now. Yeah, uh, well, I, you know, I would imagine. Here's, here's some fan support. Look at that. It is red, pink, and white night here. Everybody in their Valentine's Day best. So I look for 13 to, to try to drive. Oh, you're going to have it right there. And kick. They kick to Merliani. Yeah. He's got time and money. As we said, don't let them heat up from three. You know they want it. And Canton is up one. Kicks to. Come up. Penders kicks to LeClaire. Who answers for three? 16 seconds left. Don't foul. Don't foul. We have a timeout, Canton. Massive three-point shot by Ryan LeClaire to put Foxborough back up by two. Here it comes, Penders kicks on the double team on him. LeClaire open at the top. Unreal. Beautiful. I'll tell you, he doesn't take many shots. Yet. He should probably take more, but the ones he takes, he, they, he makes them count. Uh, no, no question there. So with that, I think by my math, and look, my math is always suspect. But by my math, Canton has taken four timeouts in this game. They have one left. Okay. 12 seconds left to go. Foxborough up by two. 
This has been a slugfest. Canton's gonna come out with possession. As we said at the beginning of the last timeout, you know they're gonna be looking for yeah. the three. Well, and, and if if we feel like we wanna kill a few seconds and foul them, we only we can. we've only committed four Correct. fouls. Just gotta make sure it's not in the act of shooting. Correct. Or nothing that can be turned into an excuse of in the yeah. act of shooting, right? Yeah, we can do that a couple of times here. Yeah, but if they start, they start weaving around and, and they kill five, six seconds off the clock, might not be a bad idea to reach in. Foxborough, everybody dropped back. Creighton with possession. Pender's trying to foul. He fouled him. He did foul, not there. Gordon with the rebound. <laughs> I don't know what you have to do to earn a foul. When uh, Foxborough wants to make them, they yeah. won't give them to him. When Foxborough doesn't want to make them, they're all over him. Yeah. Five seconds left to go. And look, num number three at the free throw line when, at the end of the game. If you haven't heard this story before, you haven't been paying attention uh. to the way this story goes. Nolan Gordon, the sophomore, in the double bonus to shoot two. Last time was an in one. Last time it was an and uh, one. So let, and, and it just was. Need distance. Backboard, just need distance. rim, backboard. Let's just swish it. Well, yeah. he doesn't want you to think it's that interesting. Uh. Nolan Gordon, second look now, coming up. Five seconds left on the clock. Foxborough up by two. No pressure, kid, you're good. Of course, he's seeing three backboards from the shot he took to the head earlier. Uh. That one's up and out. Here right. they come. Penders with, again, no foul. He traveled. And Foxborough is going to escape. Woo. Holy smokes. Opportunities all over the place for Canton as Foxborough just, the ref denying a foul as Foxborough trying to stop the clock. Holy moly. And there you have it, folks. It is 56. 58 for Foxborough, 56 for Canton. Woo. What a night, Jay. Yeah. What a night. Yeah. They, uh, they, they snuck away with one tonight, for well, sure. They needed to steal it. Yeah. They, they weren't going to get it easy. They, they put, needed to steal it. But they put themselves in a position to steal it. Correct. Af after a, just a terrible first quarter. 100% correct. So, I mean, Foxborough, a big win for them in the Davenport. Um, keeping them, I think, it, they're not quite at parity with, with, with uh, Canton, right? No. Got, but Canton's got Mansfield. They, they, Canton's path doesn't get easier. Right. They've got two more games left on their schedule. The next one's against Mansfield, mm -hmm. and then they've got to play uh, Wakefield. Yeah. Um, which is a like top five Division two team. Mm -hmm. So, Canton missing a real opportunity to tighten the standings and secure their postseason bid. Yeah. Here. Uh, but that's, a, that's know, a getaway for them. From a Foxborough standpoint, you know, we're sitting at 12 for the state tournament. This is a quality win. Absolutely. With a team that was right behind us. We're inching closer to getting into that top 10. There they go. There they go. Foxborough Warriors, the faithful. And, you know, if you get in that top 10 in the state tournament, you get a real advantageous first round. Absolutely. And a home game. And a home game. Everybody's Valentine's today, the Foxborough Warriors managing to hold on and actually not hold one on, battle back. Yeah. Battle back tie it up and then hold on to maintain the win mm -hmm. a big win for them 58 56 here tonight jay yeah. uh we're on the road on friday mm -hmm. and then we have three at home for the warrior classic next yeah. week i don't know what the uh cable coverage schedule for that will be yeah. they're, but they're early they are early but yeah. hopefully we'll have a chance to bring them to you yeah um so stay tuned, watch Twitter, watch Instagram, pay attention. Mike Weber will tell you if that's something that's gonna happen. Uh, and, and of course, who wouldn't wanna talk about that? So let's take a minute. I'm assuming we're gonna have a conversation with the coach, because we, we have a win here. Um, and he only likes to come out and talk to us when he wins. But uh, well, while, we, while we figure that part out, we're gonna give a shout out here to Mike Weber, Mike Everson, Scott Daniels, Matt Shea, Netta Jerry Penders up above, Henry Griffith, and Timothy Kirshner Greenwell, uh, all of whom brought this production to you and made did all the hard work so that Jay and I could stand here with headsets and just talk about what we saw taking place. Whew. Yeah. That it, was. I, you know, the, this, there's been, you know, three or four games where the ball has just absolutely not bounced Foxborough's way and we've taken the tough L. 
nice to see the ball bounce out way once. 100 percent. You know, ni I, nice, nice to get one is, of those. There is. <laughs> Well, and it didn't. Yeah. Right. I mean, except for like the Cotter play, mm -hmm. where like yeah, he shot, shot was like, "Ooh, look, I found an egg." Yeah. I mean, that one was one, and then we had a couple down at the yeah, end here. But, but you know, but, you, you think of, you think of Mansfield, you think of oh, Sharon twice, yep. you think of KP. Every big shot went in for the opposing team at, at the end of the game, where and we're just left like, "What just happened?" Right. Right. Well, and we were heading in that direction uh, yeah. for a little while too, as uh, the rebounds team. Seem to they seem to be able to get up and over on the rebounds and and really you know drive those um, uh, dri drive those second chance putbacks yeah. uh, just unlucky bounces for a little while uh, but in the end uh, Foxborough managing to climb back in hold on and uh, and seal up that win that mm -hmm. that oh so important win for them as they improve on this season to seven and eight in the hawk so. Friday night against Oliver Ames, they could make themselves a 500 team yep. in the Hawk, which would be a big win for them. Right. Uh, improving their overall record to 11 and eight, mm -hmm. which puts them in great position for yes. postseason play uh, under the rules of the statewide power rankings. Not only, you know, not only do you get in if you're in the top 32 on power, yep. but you get in automatically yeah, if you've guaranteed. got a 500, if you've got a 500 yep. or better record. Yep. So whatever Fox Road could do to continue to build that 500 or better record, it's just good opportunities for them to shore up those wins mm -hmm. and shore up that position. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back with conversation with Coach. I'm Kevin Penders. I had the pleasure to bring this game to you with Jay Gordon. Jay, hopefully we will see you next week. That's my exit music. There you go. All right. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back for Conversations with Coach. We love Conversations <laughs> with Coach because it means we got the W. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Woo. What a week. Welcome back. Well, we are joined by John Gibbs and number 11, number 11 in the program, number one in your heart <laughs> here on Valentine's Day, Ryan Cotter. Ryan, what a fourth quarter kid. Nicely done. Thank you. The way to, I, know, I know the guys uh, out back are working on a couple of clips that they'll put up later because they like to show off how pretty your game is. But uh, let's start with Coach. Coach. Yep. Nice little Davenport, you know, easy game, love fest. You guys... Uh, you guys go 2-0 uh, on Canton on the season by a differential of four points. It's always a, an absolute, you know, battle down to the wire with those guys. Uh, two very evenly matched teams, obviously. And, uh, you know, first game was it was a two-point double overtime game. Tonight, obviously, two-point game and a shot in the air to win it for them. So, obviously, again, right down to the wire. But, uh, you know, really not our best start. Obviously, we just came <laughs> out really flat and, and just didn't have our focus and our energy. And we fell down 11 to nothing. And we were down 13 at the end of the first quarter. So right. while we uh, we have to agree never to start a game like that ever again, uh, I'm really proud of the grit. And I'm really proud of the mental toughness and the composure that we just chipped away little by little through the second and third quarter, got it down to single digits at the half. And then I think took a two point lead at the end of the third there. And then we're able to execute just enough down the stretch. So. Um, in that, in that respect, really proud of the performance. Jay Gordon and I always talk about, you know, over the course of games that there's there's usually a quarter. You guys play a tremendous three quarters, <laughs> and then and then you make it interesting in a quarter. And for us watching it, it's it's often the third quarter. Yeah, it was a little more obvious when it was the first quarter. It was a lot ob yeah. more obvious in this in this game. And in fact, we turned to each other at the end of the first and went, "Well, I guess that means the next three will and, be really and, entertaining." And you were spot on, you know. I wish I wish we had known that earlier. Yeah, I agree with uh, that. We I would have our, I, I would have taken my heart medication a little bit sooner. <laughs> so, so uh, talk to me about um, what do you guys? How do you regroup with this guy? With these guys? You got a veteran team that you're putting on the floor. You're down, flat, whatever you yep. want to call it. You called it flat. Um, we'll stick with that because um, we called it other things. Yeah, so sure. there's no reason to know what we called it. <laughs> and um, but then you come I, right back out. You get right back to work, one basket at a time. Yep. And you chip away. Yeah, I mean, look, I think I think some of it's just that it's an experienced group that's been in a lot of different situations before. So to their credit, they didn't they didn't panic. But you know, we did, we we said at the end of that first quarter, we said, listen, the goal right now is to get it down to single digits at halftime. You know, I said there's no 13 point play. We can't get it all back at once. And if we try to do that, things are going to snowball and get worse. So, you know, just just try to get it down to single digits at the half, and then we'll make adjustments and take it from there. And then uh, obviously we, you know, we, we kept, kept subbing. We tried to find a lineup that was going to work. And I thought Ian Foley came in and gave us a really good spark in that second quarter. Was able to help us pick up our defensive energy just a little bit uh, while we found our footing in the game. And um, you know, again, just uh, I think it was the mindset of just, just kind of little by little chipping away. And then obviously, as we saw, we were getting closer. I think the confidence grew. 
Absolutely, and, and that's a good feed for me to, to Ryan, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Uh, I wish, yeah, this guy deserves a lot of credit for this. Koch, you, you have gotten better and better over the course of the season as we've watched. You go to the, you go to the paint with a lot more confidence. Uh, you've got this, like, sweeping bread basket move that you do when you when you draw the contact with the left shoulder, and then you're like, you're like oh, oh, look what I have over here. I'll just lay it up and in. Uh, high on the glass, repeatedly on the right-hand side. We love watching it, only because it goes in. <laughs> um, but then today you had a, another sweet move that took, came down the left-hand side of the paint very late in the game. Um, and, uh, you know, I lost Coach Gordon because I referred to it as a split dodge. Because, um, you know, I channeled. Lacrosse season's I, not here yet. Not yep. yet. Not yet. But I channeled, I channeled my, uh, my midi point guard here uh, to, to make the analogy. Talk to me about what changes you've made over the course of the season. Your free throws, you're shooting with more confidence. Your t your you're settling into a leadership role here with these guys as you're the, you know, you're the junior playing with four seniors. It's not shaking you up at all. You're playing a lot, you, your growth, I should say. It's not like you were playing lousy at the beginning of the season. So I don't want to say you're playing better than, but your confidence, your growth, your poise is just better and better game after game. Mm. So talk to us a little bit about your mindset when you're on the floor and what's, and what's going into that for you. Yeah, well, just like in terms of growth, every day we work on, like those layups that I do every day in practice. It feels like before every game, we prepare for the way teams defend us. So I'm prepared like how to finish in those games. Uh, and then yeah, for free throws, it's just helped me come along working on that every day and just continue to get better going in every day, two hour practice. Um, and that's just what has made, made our team so much better this year. Just like continuing to work hard and it's just what we do. It's impressive. And he's oh here we're oh, gonna see it. Go. Let's pay attention to it right here. So Cots, here you come. There's that patented move right down the right hand side and uh, high up off the glass. We're gonna see it again here. A huge see that little bread the basket game. right there? That's mine. Couldn't see the scoreboard without it was a tight ball game very late at that point. It was point. a two point and, uh, game. You guys and were we trading went to, buckets. We went to Cots. He, that was more This was the pretty one here, yeah. the lefty with the wrap around there, sort of a, like yeah. almost a Statue of Liberty play to put that thing up and in. Very yeah. nicely done. And you could see the intensity right there. <laughs> Somebody wants to win, yeah, yeah. which and, is know, great. And that's, and that's, you know, the first one there. I mean, we, we went to him in that situation. That was a, a design play that, you know, we know that he's a huge weapon for us in those situations. And obviously in, in transition, you know, if he ever has a seam, we're, we're telling him to go and push it. But, you know, he mentions practice and, and, and stuff like that. But he's, you know, all the growth you're talking about is, is directly a result of the effort and, and, and the work that this guy puts in all year long and then certainly every day in practice. He's a guy that, that you know, when I walk into the gym at 2.30 every day, I know exactly what I'm going to get out of Ryan Cotter. I know he's going to listen. He's going to be coachable. He's going to do everything we ask of him to the best of his ability. He's, he's going to give maximum effort. And so you see the results of that. But um, he's really been outstanding for us this year. You know, he's been a point guard his whole life. Last year as a sophomore, he played as Ryan LeClaire's backup point guard, got a little bit of taste of the varsity level, um, and came back this year, obviously a, 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 a really talented and really skilled and valuable player. And so we looked at him and said, look, I can't, you know, this team can't have your minutes and LeClaire's minutes add up to 32 anymore. We're going to have to put you guys out there together. And so Ryan has, Ryan Cotter, we got so many Ryans in this team. I know. Ryan we, Cotter, we actually have the Ryan lineup that crazy. we talk about. Yeah. Trying to coach, yell out this stuff, three people look at me. But <laughs> Cotter uh, has really adjusted nicely this year to playing more off the ball and, and co coexisting with Ryan LeClaire. And, having, and I think having two, essentially having two point guards out there has been really good for our team uh, because now you got two ball handlers, two passers, two decision makers. It helps guys like Sam and Alex and all the shooters get open looks when teams try to press us we're very comfortable so it's been really good and you, and you see the result of that is we've had our uh, you know one of our better scoring offense seasons in a long time and a so time, it's, um, it, it's been great to watch him grow into that role and see those two guys develop that chemistry and uh, you know he's been excellent defensively you know chasing around shooters with his length and you know we always talk about Ryan making a lot of winning plays you know he's the king of like offensive rebounds from the perimeter oh, I was absolutely gonna and, say that you know yeah. loose balls he leads our team and charges taken you know so all those little gritty winning plays that some people may not notice or appreciate he, he's the king of that so he's been incredible um, for our team this year we're really proud of him we appreciate it we notice it in fact <laughs> you've got it there's a you're like the human highlight reel we haven't had you in here for a postseason uh, post game yet Cots, but there was one where you the ball was up off the rim and you i think it was the closest you're going to get to a dunk well he had um, the tip dunk was, against yeah. mansfield second yep. game it was fabulous that was, yeah that was incredible so, but you but but wherever there's a loose ball um you're there which is awesome. And like even tonight, there was a play where uh, Ryan LeClaire drove the paint. Uh, he got swallowed up. The ball kicked loose. And you were you were just, it was just like, 
hey, here I am. Okay, I'll <laughs> he's take always, it. He's always there for those plays. Yeah, know? knows for the ball, which is awesome. So we're a wrap tonight. Yep. You have one more Hockamock divi division game left. Yep, you yep. go to we're OA off to on Friday. Friday. Yep. You know that will be uh, another fist fight. Always. Oliver Ames, every game, you know, their record's not the best, but every game has been close, single digits. You know, they're right there with everybody. They're a really good team, and so right. obviously we'll have, we'll have to be ready to go. They're always tough over there as well. And then one, one thing I do want to add, Mr. Penders, this, this win uh, officially did clinch us for the state tournament. Um, gets us Gets us that 11th win we needed. So that's that's really uh, – Exciting for these guys, you know, we, you know, we've been on track the whole way, but it still feels good to know you got that clinching win and, it, and it's all set and taken care of. Obviously, a lot of big games ahead to play for seeding and, and th those types of things, but it's nice to know that we're going and um, it's a really exciting thing for the players, so I'm really happy for them. Well, we were looking at the seedings earlier, just and we don't need to get into them too far because they are still very much a sure. a, a work in progress. But fun, um, to fun to look at, even though there's a lot of ball left to be played. Absolutely. Well, I mean, the last time they came out, you guys were 14th and Canton yep. was 15th. This morning they came out. You guys are 12th. Canton is 17th. Yep. Um, the, you, you know, you have none of the guys that you have left to play are going to just give you the win. Uh, no. But you are well positioned in power rankings right now. Uh, we were talking about it. There's a chance you guys can crack the top 10 at the rate you're going with For the sure. competition yeah. you're going to play. Absolutely. You have, uh, you know, you have the game against OA this week. Then you have three games next week, all against Correct. Division Two talent. Yep. Um, Dighton Rehoboth. Uh, the winner of Medfield, and Medfield Middleborough, Middleborough and, then Melrose. Uh, and then Melrose. Yep. And so those are all legitimate, you know, challenges for you guys. You're going to get to see guys you don't know. You haven't really had a chance to scout too much, even if you're the king of the scout. No, one game at a time. I'll get, exactly I will. Right. Don't worry. I'll do what I do, but it's not time yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're looking forward to seeing you guys on the road on Friday. Yep, sure. Uh, and then we're looking forward to the opportunity to come back in here and uh, and talk to you some more during school break. Yeah, the Warrior Classic coming up over the break, and that's always a really fun time. Uh, you know, it, you know, it's a chance to compete for a championship. I always right. say, any, any chance you get to compete for a championship, it's fun and exciting. You want to do it, even if it's four teams. It's here at our home court, and we actually get a chance to watch the girls' team and vice versa. We never get to see each other during the year. We play on all the same nights, so it's kind of fun to have a joint thing there. Um, so that's something we always look forward to. But. Um, we got so we got to take care of Oliver Ames first, but fans mark it on your calendar that's next exactly week. That's exactly what I was going to say. Monday, Tuesday. Let's get into the girls and us will play back to back, so it's a great chance to see that. So you should come here and see it live, so that you don't have to listen to it here. <laughs> and with that, we're going to wrap for tonight. We'll look forward to spending more time with Coach next week during the break during the Warrior Classic. Uh, Cots, thank you for joining us and thank you for all your thank hard you. work tonight to make this win possible. Foxborough takes the win, 58 to 56, over Canton, locking up as Coach just said their postseason play or at least their postseason ticket. Yep. And we'll find out what table they get to sit at in a couple of weeks. Like so with that, that, that was nice. thank you very much. That was really nice. Thank you. I try. <laughs> uh, so with that, we're a wrap. Again, Foxborough Cable Access, thank you very much for all you do to make this possible. Mike Weber, Mike Everson, Matt Shea, Scott Daniels, Netta Jerry Penders, Jay Gordon, uh, Hank Griffin, and Timothy Kersner Greenwell tonight. My name is Kevin Penders. It's been my privilege to bring this to you. Have a great night. We will see you next week. Thank you.